Gunmen target a Northwest Miami-Dade home, critically injuring a seven-year-old girl and wounding three others, including a baby. This morning, that little girl has been declared brain dead. The shooting bringing outrage from Miami-Dade County leaders. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer joins us live from Jackson Memorial Hospital, where the wounded are being treated this morning. Brooke. Hey ladies, good morning. A baby and a seven-year-old girl among those four people rushed here to the hospital after the drive-by shooting over the weekend. I'm told three of the four people are in stable condition this morning, but unfortunately that seven-year-old girl we're told now brain dead following the drive-by shooting. It hurt so bad, you know, just, it just hurt. A seven-year-old girl is now fighting for her life as a drive-by shooting left her badly wounded and sent four people to the hospital. The seven-year-old girl, a baby, and two adults. Cynthia Banks, a relative, says they are heartbroken. We never would imagine that it would have happened like this here. I just want everybody just to pray for my family. Miami-Dade police say the ambush happened on Saturday night at the 2900 block of Northwest 51st Street. Cynthia tells us her niece had just parked the car outside the home. When they proceeded to get out, that's when another car drove by and started shooting. More than a dozen rounds were reportedly fired at the family. We don't know what's going on. We don't know what's happening. Only thing we know is about our family is suffering for what happened and disappointed. Both the two adults and the baby were told are in stable condition. However, the seven-year-old girl is now brain dead. It's still unclear who was the intended target of the shooting, but the violence has outraged community leaders. Miami-Dade Police Department Director Alfredo Ramirez tweeted about the shooting and said, quote, this type of indiscriminate violence is unconscionable, and we as a community cannot become callous to it. And Catherine Fernandez Rundle, the state attorney for Miami-Dade County, stated, quote, to leave blood on our streets, particularly the blood of innocent young children, should outrage every resident of Miami-Dade County. I pray to God that they turn themselves in. I pray to God that they turn their life around and understand you don't hurt. You don't hurt a family here so bad. Police, of course, now asking anyone with information to give them a call. You can call Crime Stoppers, that number, 305-471-TIPS. I'm live outside JMH, Brooke Schaefer, CBS4, this morning.